first day of Pride, Zach. Oh my god, is this necessary? What, what are you in there? Listen, I'm poor right now, this is the only thing I could afford. Oh, you're telling me there's no other fast food? <laughs> it's a money thing. It was on, yeah, it was on Uber Eats. You couldn't go get McDonald's or something else that's not a bigoted, hateful fast food restaurant? On the first day of Pride, nonetheless. Thankfully, you're skinny. You're not that fucking heavy, because Lord knows you're not worth your fucking weight and gay. It's just gonna, it's despicable. <laughs> but what do you think's a worse reputation? The gay who eats <laughs> Chick-fil-A on day one of Pride? Or the way Pat dresses? <laughs> which which does the gay community disavow more? Definitely Pat. Yeah, yeah they gotta be like, Pat. what the fuck? Then they take a look at you. I mean, what you, what's next? You gonna go to church on Sunday? too? <laughs> <laughs> As, as of right now, Jackie still believes, and through the whole segment, she thinks that there are fire people on Fire Island, that if you wander to the wrong part of, of the island, they will set you on fire. Like, I never understood why Fire Island became, like, a, a summer spot that people go to. Like, it's so fucking dangerous out there. It's crazy dangerous and crazy far. I'm not going to an island where, if I find myself in the wrong spot... The like original people there are gonna fucking attack me and try to set me on fire. Did, you ever go? did he tell you? Like he did he say where he stays that he, like he doesn't go near that, right? No, he said that he was staying went. away from the the fire people or whatever. But yeah. He, like, do they have like phones? Do you know how <laughs> wildly like the headlines like like the country would like stop fucking moving to figure out the fire people of Fire Island. She's just like, oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll, and 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 the fact that it would be a, a summertime spot. You're gonna tell me that as soon as I learn about, <sighs> you're gonna try to tell me that just one month after I, <sighs> why can't you fucking get this right? You. <clears throat> You're going to try to tell me that just one month after I <laughs> Trials and tribulations of fucking tinfoil hat man. <sighs> Gotta get the right size and everything. You're going to try to- Nope, too small. God damn it. You're going to try to tell me that just one month after I learned about no time. It's like Z-E-N-O. Z-E-N-O. Like That's your DJ? And what is, what is DJ Zeno? Where, what, is that, what does that mean? Well, I play, so I DJed like a bunch of college parties, basically, like in college. Yeah. Uh -huh. I made like a few hundred bucks yeah. here I mean, and there, obviously. No, I never DJed in college parties when you're not in college, you should kill yourself. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, and so, my, it's my buddy and I. And so... So DJ Zeno is a duo. Well, no, he's got his name. What's his name? It, don't worry about it. No, well, I'm going to worry about it. <laughs> no, what's his name? Not, don't worry Zeno about it. and... Don't worry about it. The point is, is that, so he has some connections here with, like, people different and, like, promoters and different whatever. Oh, I'm sure he does. Well, so we're playing our first, uh, whatever it's called, yeah. first DJ so, set. Yeah. yeah, I know. No, I know you know. I know you don't want to say. Yeah, no, I really so do. Yeah, wanna, I set. really don't want to talk yeah. about this. I haven't DJed officially in a couple years. Um, we have our, me and my buddy are DJing together. We have our first gig, Hotel Chantel, Friday night, uh, 12.30 to um, should be a good time. Tickets are selling well, I was told. Um, I think we sold a table, which is nice. And yeah. Excited? Very excited. It's one thing actually bringing... you have bring tables? Yeah, tables, yeah. Like, like, like tables, like a club. You buy a table, you get a bottle, bottle service tables. Uh, well, do we get? No, you don't get a table. I'm not paying I don't for a table. I, I can table, want a table. I, I get you a discount on a table. table. I get you a table for like five hundred bucks. Do we bring like a sign? Do people bring signs. Mm. Yeah. DJ? Can I wear a shirt that says? Go Zach. My coworker is the DJ. Yep. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, wear the shirt. I dare. Foam fingers. Yeah. The light up ones. You do like. 
Oh, there she is. Yes. Should we take Molly? <laughs> <laughs> the oh. fire people. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> They're How not real. <laughs> I just dropped it to a stupid fucking point in the podcast and said, let's see how long we can keep Jackie going on this. I was like, wait, what? And I went there. There's not fire people? <laughs> yeah, like, you completely believe it. The whole, thing. whole thing. Right on the spot. When you texted what? me, I was like, this is easy. <laughs> I was just like, I was just hanging out. I was like, I'm going to just yeah. fuck with it. Dude, I called all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, have you guys heard of how many people did you tell? I told like eight friends. <laughs> and they're all like, are you sure? Wait, I thought that I looked this up. Pass, fuck you. <laughs> it's a good one. That was it's really good, good though. I know. Wait, so, so there's no, there's is no Fire, Fire Island people. a thing? Fire Island is a thing. It just, it's just for, it's for rich white people going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so then today on the podcast. they I told them beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Thanks.